Hi folks, uh, this is Nagraj Bairaji. In this video, we'll discuss about uh, work item customization. So this is a continued part. So you would have seen uh, or watched work item customization part one and part two. In part one, we discussed basics of work item customization. That is how to export a work item, how to modify, like how to add a new text field and a drop down and how to import back to a team project. And in uh, part two, we saw about how to add different drop downs and condition based drop downs. And also we saw about how to add a new workflow that is states and transitions. So in this video, uh, which is the continued part of uh, work item customization part three we'll discuss about the agile portfolio management like how to add a new level into a agile portfolio management so currently uh, in your team project you'll be having features then product backlog item if it is a scrum based team project and task right now let's say i want to add a new work item type above feature so let's say initiative so there will be first initiative then a child item feature then a requirement or a product backlog item which will be a child of feature and i can add till uh, now five levels including feature like feature initiative theme uh, goal or epic so like that i can add up to five levels so we'll see like how to you know uh, export an existing work item that is feature then you know change the work item type as uh, initiative then uh, we'll ed edit the implementation tab of this work item to include feature as a child of initiative feature work items are child uh, of initiative work item type okay then import it back so this is about only customization for the work item for this work item to be available in your you know backlog page right in your uh, you know agile planning tools we have to change your category and process config files also so we'll see how to change or what to change in the category file and in the process config file so let me connect to my uh, virtual machine and i have a already a team project called uh, demo tp so in this team project we'll add this new work item type called initiative so this is my virtual machine so let me launch a visual studio so i've created a new team project called as demo tp under fabric and fabric collection and it has got uh, these work item types bug task product backlog item feature impediment and test case so this is created out of uh, scrum process template now let me connect to the web portal so this is the home page of uh, demo tp team project let me click on uh, backlog link so this gives me the agile planning uh, features of tfs so where i can find the backlog items the features that is a portfolio management work items so let's see how to you know uh, add the initiative item for that let me export the work item first so I'll, I'll export the existing uh, feature work item then modify to say initiative so i'll just you know modify the work item type name to initiative then import it back as an initiative work item type so i'm not going to you know, change uh, the fields or workflow and all the stuff but yes you can uh, it is possible to change if required and in my previous videos part one and part two of work item customization you've already seen or you'd have seen that how to add a state or you know workflow and transitions or how to add new fields so we can do the same thing for the new work item type that is initiative so let me export it first now let me go to visual studio then tools process editor so this will be installed or will be available when i uh, install uh, power tools so let me go to export work item section and work item types select fabric and fiber collection under that fabric and fiber uh, sorry a demo tp then select feature so it will ask for the path so let me save it under c drive custom wit folder 
I can change the name as save as initiative. Now, so the work item feature is exported. So let me go to the path. So this is a work item. So let me edit uh, the initiative.xml file. So rename the work item type as initiative. And also change the description. I'll say tracks and initiative that will be released with the product. And then let me go to the implementation tab. So in this tab, so you can see the hierarchy. So this will be used to define a child item. So when I go to a features implementation tab, I can create a child item as product backlog item. Now this is initiative and its child item will be feature work item, right? So for that, I have to change the product backlog item here to feature. So whenever I create a initiative work item and I want to implement the initiative into features, then I'll come to this tab and create a new feature work item or link to a existing feature work item. So that's it. So these are the changes. I've changed the work item type as uh, initiative, then the implementation tab to include feature instead of product backlog item. So now let's import this item to the demo TP. I'll come to tools, process editor, work item types and click on import. Then select the demo TP. So let me browse to the file initiative.xml and import it. So work item is imported. Let me see it here. Yes, so you can see initiative work item. The same is available in the web portal. So if I go to create new initiative, but if I come to backlog page, I will not be able to see it. So I have to even change categories and uh, process config files to make initiative work item available in the Agile planning tools or I can say backlog page. So let's see that how to do it. So this part is done where we exported the existing uh, feature work item type and renamed it as initiative then import it back. Now let's modify the categories file and process config files. So for that I will use command line. So I'll just say with admin. So this is a you know a command line tool used for all the work item administration kind of jobs. Let's say to import or export work items or to rename a work item type or let's say for example this export categories to change the category file or process config file I can use with admin tool. So these are command with admin export categories from which collection from which team project. So I have to just specify that and export it to a file called as any any file name categories.xml file. So let me copy this and open Visual Studio command prompt. I have just I have a shortcut here and let me paste this and say export the categories file now to this path C custom WID path. So it is done. Now, now let me go to the path. Yes. So I have the categories.xml file. Let me click on edit. And now what I have to modify? I have to add a new category for the initiative work item. For let's say, for example, we have for requirement we have, for feature we have. Similarly, for the new work item type initiative, we should have a one more category. So I've already, you know, have this written. So I'll say category reference name. So you can use any, you know, uh, reference name here. So I just said my name Nagraj dot initiative category and name initiative category. And the default work item type is initiative. So this is important. So to which work item this category or I can say this initiative work item belongs to a initiative category. Let me add this so we can add it, uh, you know, 
uh, in this category section wherever we want so i have created a new category now so let me click on save now let me import this import the category dot xml file so i have the command written let me copy paste so i'm saying vit admin import categories to which collection to which team project and what is the file the categories dot xml file for for this main is the work item should already be existing in the team project but if you are not imported the initiative work item and try to you know import this categories you'll get an error saying the category refers to a work item that doesn't exist right so let me hit enter the category is imported okay the next thing is changes in the process config file so to that let's again ex export the process config file then do the modification and import it back to the team project so now if i go to backlog will not find still right so we have to change in the process config file also let's export the process config file the command uh, is uh, almost uh, same with admin export process config then from which collection and from which team project and where it should be exported the file name so the file is available here let me click on modify now what we have to modify we have to add one more portfolio backlog item under portfolio backlogs section okay then we have to say you know uh, for this initiative work item category or initiative work item type what are the fields we want and next is the coloring so what kind of you know uh, like if you see the web, web access each item has got some color coding so for example you know you can see uh, product backlog has got some colors and features have got you know like lavender color kind of thing right so all these items have got some color coding so i can even define what color code the initiative work item should have okay so let's see how to modify the process config file so what we are going to do is add this uh, portfolio backlog section in the process config file so for the category nagraj dot initiative category and uh, we'll specify the plural name initiatives so this will be used uh, you know in the side section like if i go to the web access so here we can see features backlog items so same way i want initiatives and the singular name is for the work item type let me copy this go to process config file and add one more portfolio backlog item and i have done one more thing is i wanted these two fields also to be available in the backlog page like if you see for feature category under add panel i have got system dot title so this will be used when i am creating a new feature let's say if i am creating a new feature the title field is available same way for the initiative work item i want title plus another two fields called priority and business value so i could use this add panel section to add the fields or to include the fields in the quick section and the columns so like let's say you know uh, if i go to the backlog page so in the feature item i have got order work item type title state right so like there what are columns i want default by default okay i can add those sections here in the column so now we added the portfolio backlog for category nagraj dot initiative category so we'll change the or we'll add the color code for the initiative work item type i'll add it here so we can use uh, any you know uh, color picker tool to get all these uh, uh, codes color codes and one more thing uh, i forgot is to mention now this backlog item is a child of initiative category right so for this feature item i have to men have to mention the parent so that will be this parent is equal to nagraj dot initiative category okay the topmost portfolio backlog item will not have any parent so earlier fe feature was the topmost item now feature is a child of initiative right so that's why it has got a parent is equal to nagraj dot initiative category so that will be a initiative work item 
okay so these are the changes for the process config file what we did we added a new portfolio backlog section for e for initiative work item that is initiative category then we did some modification for the add panel and column section where we added this uh, new field priority and under add panel two new fields uh, priority and business value and changed the existing feature category to include even parent section right then lastly the color code for new work item type so each work item has got its color coding so that's it let me click on save now import this process config file and see the changes so it is done let me go to the web access click on home page now click back on the backlog we should see initiatives yes now click on this you can see that's the orange uh, color code what i have given so now when i create a new initiative i can mention the priority of the initiative and the business value so these are the two fields we added in the add panel section right so that's available and even this column priority we added in the column section and if i go to initiative in the, under the implementation tab i can create a new feature work item you can see as a child so let me create a feature work item i'll say feature one save and and for the feature let me create a user story so that is sorry that is a product backlog item in scrum just say pbi1 save and close so now i can see the complete hierarchy from initiative to feature to the product backlog item so i can just change the view from initiative to backlog items and i can see the complete hierarchy okay uh, that's it guys what we saw in this video is how to add a new portfolio level or how to add a new item into a portfolio backlog item right so we saw how to add a initiative work item into into a portfolio management so we exported uh, the existing feature work item renamed it to initiative did some modification for the work item imported back then we did modification in the category file categories.xml added new category for the new work item type then changed process config file we added a new portfolio backlog section for the new work item type and changed the existing feature work item to include a parent section and even the color coding and we could see the changes here so we have got new portfolio level called initiatives and the complete hierarchy feature then product backlog item so in in, in the coming section uh, we'll see about uh, other work item customization features uh, maybe we will discuss about uh, the process template customization like how to create a new process template itself thanks for watching this video